Wanna go drink tank? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the Office UK season one, episode five, New Girl. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we do? I'm not thinking about it. I'm doing it. I'm leaving. Uh, to go back to university to learn about more than the price of OptiBright laser copy paper. 298 a gram. 240 a gram, check the list. Yeah, I thought you said something different. What are you going to study? Psychology. You want to be a psychiatrist for? They're all mad themselves, aren't they? <laughs> I want to be a psychologist. You see the difference? Mm. Right, you're nice, You're so clever. What am I thinking about now? You're thinking, how could I kill a tiger armed only with a biro? No. No. Uh, you're thinking, uh, if I crash land in jungle, Will I be able to eat my own shoes? No, nope, you can't. Right. What are you thinking? <laughs> he, said, he said, he no, and you can't. Will there ever be a boy born who can swim faster than a shark? So worried about that, but while you're lodging with me, your parents have entrusted me with their most valuable possession. You. Yeah? Ipso facto, trust received, responsibility given and taken. Yeah? I'm your guardian. You stayed out all night. Okay, you stayed with a friend. That's fine. I'm a little bit annoyed at her parents for not calling me and just saying his parents, parents blown, so what? Come on, God. Chill out, shall we? Please. You know, good friend that happens to be a boy. I could stay at dawn. No, you know. Good. Well, I could have got off with at the wrong, got off at the wrong bus stop. <laughs> I could. She said no. You could. Uh, well, okay, I could if I got off at the wrong bus stop. Yeah, yeah, I could. No. You know, I'd be on the floor. Yeah, we'll spend some time on the floor. A good reason. <laughs> More room. This <laughs> is <laughs> If I did stay at Dawn's, the point uh, is this. Well, like, if you, I, you stay at mine if you want it. I don't want to stay at yours. <laughs> the point is, if I did stay at Dawn's, there'd be no funny business. There was no funny business. Fine. Well, apart from all the sex, but we'll do it at your place next time so you don't have to worry. Oh, Jesus. Was it no, wasn't anyone in the office, was it? It was, actually. I slept with somebody in the office, office everybody. That <laughs> show's over. All right, good. Well done. That's fine. Don't even... It's not you. Oh. Oh. I'd let you stay at mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm getting a secretary because uh, well, I need one. So uh, I feel that like lucky contestants are. All right. Oh, uh, this is Stuart Foot. Hi, Stuart. And Hi. Karen Roper. Mr. Hi. Brent. I don't know, Mr. Brent. David. <laughs> <laughs> she had brought in at the place, don't she? If she gets the job, so he, if he gets it, because we're both, we're both equal. It's all on the no foregone conclusion based on interview and, and merit. I mean, it is up to me, ultimately, but good luck. You do well to impress me. So, uh, nurse, the Polaroid. <laughs> just for, um, just for, uh, so sit down. I'm just going to take a, a, a snapshot, just for the files, just to keep on revel. I'll do it. Let's get that, got a lovely smile on. <laughs> on top. Lovely. That looks nice. That with blue eyes. Okay, big smile. This is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Just give that a minute. We'll have another look at that. Do one of you as well. <laughs> yeah, she already got the job. She, she already got the job. Go ahead, go home, my guy. Go ahead and head to the crib. It's over. It's wrapped up. We know who's getting the position. Yeah. We're doing Stuart first. Yeah, let's get him out of the way. Come on, follow me. Let's get him out the way. It's 
to your foot. You gonna ask him a question, David? He said, money don't make my world go. What did he say? Money don't make my world go down. I'm reaching out to a higher prayer. Hopefully. Well, what is that? Money don't make my world go round, I'm reaching out to a higher ground. Is that a philosopher? Desiree. The singer. Money don't make my world go round. I'm reaching out to a higher ground. To a warm and peaceful place. I, 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 I can rest my weary face. Okay, guys. We're living, we're living. In a crazy maze. Why'd you want to work it? Okay, I see you, David. I see you with the voice. I rock with it. And I rock with it. Shoot. Yeah, the bosses are panicking. They're going, oh, cut back, lose staff. You know, that's the way forward. That'll save us money, will it? Yeah. Who's to say that, you know, hiring staff won't save money in the long run? <laughs> Does a, a struggling salesman start turning up on a bicycle? No, he turns up in a newer car. Perception. Yeah, they got to trust me. I'm taking these guys yeah. into battle. Yeah, and I'm doing my own stapling. Yeah. A sergeant major spends all his time training his men to be killers. He doesn't polish his own boots. He probably, he probably does polish his own boots, but you know, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean I have to do my own filing. I feel you, David. I respect you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus, man. You gotta be kidding me right there. Yourself, just out there, free, getting what you can. Where you young. I, I don't know. Come on. You've charmed me. Yeah, you've got the job. <coughs> Think of decision. I'll make it good. Work out your notice with the place right now, and we put you on a month's probation. But don't, it's just to see if we. Yeah. <laughs> just to see if we. Charming. You got the job. Good. Good. Not tonight. Celebrating, I suppose. Um, yeah. Um, going to... Do you know the chasers? Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, you see a three debauched drunkards in the corner. Keep away from us. No, come over. Come over. The drinks are be on me. In me. What time are you going to cruise down there? No, it's not definite. There we go. No, come down. Come down. Definitely. What's your tipple? Um, vodka and coke. Me? Lager, uh, Finchy Lager, Gareth Lager, sometimes cider, so different drinks. Different sometimes cider. Needs. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well done. Well done again. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
you secretary. Good. Efficient. Oh my lord, bro. He's smiling too hard. So you resign then? Yeah, I'm just gonna hand him a letter to make it official. You embarrassed yourself in all, didn't you? Asking Dawn out. No, wait, I didn't ask her. That was. Why does everyone think it was as a friend? Right. Okay. It was just right. as a friend. Just looking at the booklet at the moment. Yeah. What did you watch on telly last night? I didn't watch telly, I watched a video. I watched that peak practice. Yeah, I've never seen it. Bloody ever heard of it. Uh, annoying, isn't it? Not for me, I hadn't seen it. Annoying, <laughs> Not for me, I hadn't seen it. <laughs> Boring, isn't it? Just staying in watching peak practice with your life. It, it might be a tad more. Lager, vodka and coke. Gave it a gig. Oh, God. The dreaded form. The sat on there with you. Married or single. She scores. That doesn't matter. Whatever. Bring your boyfriend down tonight if you want. I don't have one. Whatever. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, sorry. God damn. That is. That it is, said it's a man's yeah. game. Accidental. <laughs> so. That's why I shouldn't get involved. Really. Good heavens. Somewhat the awkward twitching tension between them now. He made a move when it was not the right time to make a move, and now he's he's got to suffer through this complete awkwardness. Gareth, Garedio, how are you, mate? Garedio. Nothing. Good to see you. Gareth Keenan. Okay, it's me. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. It's there just her, of course it is. In the workspace, and today we're going to find out what those dangers are together. Alright, starting off with your work station. Now, I want you to imagine that this is a mug of hot coffee. It's not, okay? Because that would be dangerous even in the training situation. Mm. What we're going to do is play a little fun game. Made up. Okay. I like to have a bit of fun when I'm teaching me. In fact, I like to have a laugh most of the time. In and out of work. In fact, there's a few of us going out tonight. Shall we crack on? 
<laughs> you can't try to hear none of that, Gary. She just trying to get in and get out. She already tired of this meeting. Can we crack on? Can we get this over with, my guy? I, I, I got better things to do to sit here and listen to you talk. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Now watch where I place this mug in order to simulate where someone might put a mug you know, in real life. And what I want you to do is shout out and shout, mind, safe or dangerous. Right? Do you can manage that? <laughs> oh my Jesus. Okay, let's go. Dangerous. Who would ever put a mug in real life, bro? Dangerous. This is the incorrect way. Okay, incorrect. Correct way, two things to remember. First of all, keep your back nice and straight, straight back, and then you, can, you got to keep your back straight and bend your knees. Alright? Very important. That's the correct way. Do you want to try that with me? I'm fine. <coughs> I'm fine! Well, you're supposed to witness you do it so I can take the box. So, just do it with me a couple of times. Right? So, nice straight back, bend your knees. Up. That's it. Down again, same on the way down as on the way up. Oh my Jesus, bro. Come on, man. Come on, Tim. Oh my lord. She's probably so annoyed right now, bro. You can just see the. She's, it's all over her face. It's all over her. She's so goddamn annoyed by Garrett. Can you got that? Yeah. Good. Well done. If there's any questions you want to ask, or you know, if you want to talk about anything at all, just come on and I know you've. Um, are you still with Jack? Right, are we done then? Made a mistake. Well, That's I fine. Made a mistake. I was just checking whether you're gonna be sleeping with him again or uh, spreading it around. Right, bye. Uh, whether you're gonna be sleeping with him again or spreading it around. <laughs> what? Good. Good. Oh Jesus. Yeah. It's some pupil. Fast learner. She won't be spilling any fluids or lifting things in your career. Hey. Hey. Hi, Gareth. Uh, quick question, mate. I've got these invoices to file, and I don't know. Principle. It was about respect. Yeah, you know? showing a bit of respect. And while she's under my roof, she will obey my laws. So, showing respect by obeying the law. She's legal then. When cherries are red, they're ready for plucking. When girls are 16, they're ready for. Gareth! <laughs> Cherries are red, they're ready for 
lucky we're growing to 16 and they're ready for another one. Well, yeah. so yeah. are you going to fire the person that she sent to be slept with? It's a free country. I, I can't do anything about it, so... So you won't fire them as such? I won't look on him favourably, let's put it that or way. Or her. Or her. Could be a girl. She's not a lesbian, Gareth. I think I'd know if a woman living under my roof liked to roll around with other women. Gareth, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we should probably... Spoke to you at five, yeah? Yeah. Get the call at six for the lads. Yeah? Drinks at eight in the chasers. Oh. Yeah, spare bird going. Oh. Not for long. Right, so I'll get there. She's age 19. Ferrari chassis. Fantastic set of shells and legs up to her ass. Yeah. Much else tequilas later, I'm in a cab with her. Yeah. Not only that, oh, but my mate's bird wants to get a lift with me and this nympho. Yeah. yeah. So there I am, at the back of the cab. Both of them got the laughing gear on the old single barrel pump action yoghurt ride. Is it all? So, back to mine. Two hours sleep, yeah. <laughs> Today, I'm up into the mate whose bird I've done. Yeah. Sold him two ton of IY world. <laughs> and he says to me, he says, hey, you look knackered. And I'm thinking, yeah. And you look like you've had a pot noodle and a wank, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he said that to him. I shit you not, I shit you not. I'm seeing both of them tomorrow night. Oh. Come out tonight still, eh? Wednesday night, Raz? Yeah? Definitely night, though. Yeah. You're coming jobless? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. If, uh, if only a bit of conversation. Oh. Pot noodle and a wank. That's <laughs> what <laughs> I don't know where we're going tonight. Obviously, Finch is a sophisticated guy, and uh, Gareth's a culture vulture. So, you know, will it be opera, ballet? I don't know. Um, I know the RSC's in town, so... But, and uh, having said that, at Chasers, it's uh, Pooch for a Pound and Wonder Bra's getting free night tonight, so... I don't know, I don't know, it's exciting. I'm staying up. Chasers sounds like the better option. It sounds like the better option to me, too. Choose that one. <laughs> So of course, it was an obvious option. Who wants Finch Finch? Chris Finch, good to meet you. This is a very good friend of mine, Sir David and Brent. I am. Joking. The only knighthood he's got is a condom. Knighthood. Condom. I'm saying the joke works. It's good. Condom, condoms come in all different flavours now, don't they? Like, oh you my! Like curry in that? Do you like curry? Get out of there. I'm Lorna, this is Lindsay and Heather. Hi. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet, you. Nice to meet all ah, the ladies. It's fine. Hey, Fitch a player, boy. Fitch a little player, he's smooth with it. He said, I do this. Hey, you're looking for a seat, love, you can sit on my face. <laughs> no, man. I said not her. <laughs> if you're looking for a seat, love, you can sit on my face. <laughs> not her. Not anybody but her. Anybody but her. Please. She's staying with me. Her dad will kill me. Believe it. Oh, you lucky bastard. Hey, that chair's a bit soft. You know, no. some harder. Don't. Do it to other girls. Uh oh, Gareth! Every Wednesday night, and it's a fun place, but it's full of loose women. My only problem with that is venereal disease, oh, which is Jesus. disabilitating. <laughs> right, especially for a soldier. <laughs> disabilitating, especially for a soldier. Gareth! So Gareth just gonna block himself. That's that Gareth's gonna block himself. But it's responsible to the rest of your unit as well. Alright, you've been under attack for days. There's a soldier down. He's wounded. Gangrene's setting in. 
Who's used all the penicillin? Oh, Mark Paxton, <laughs> sir. He's got knobber off sometimes. <laughs> Okay, Gareth, here we go. Here we go, Gareth. Oh! Don't worry, I haven't got any balls. Vodka and Coke, remembered. What am I drinking? Lager. Pint thereof. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, back in the day. One at a time, and they're going, Oh, will we be made redundant? See, David. And I'm going, No, over my dead body. And they're going, Don't put your neck on the line for us. And I'm going, I will if I want to. Because, well, they bend over backwards for me. <laughs> She's about to fall asleep. She's just ready to get out of there. She ready to find somewhere, uh, someone else to talk to, somewhere else to go, just anywhere away from my guy, Dave. You know, anywhere. and not because they're scared of me, but because they love me and I love them, you know. And, what, and you're going to love me as well, not because of what I am, not anything sexual. No, Fitz! It was here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. What bike you got? A matchless 500. What's that, a Hardy Davison? I love all that. I'm not. Slayer's nightlife is incredible. It's got two nightclubs, you've got Chasers, and uh, New York, New York, and they call it the nightclub that never sleeps. Um, that closes mm. at one. Uh, ah, the nightclub that never sleeps that closes that way. There was, oh my god, a, uh, a themed nightclub called Henry the Eighth. Right, this was mm. incredible. It had the Anne Boleyn Alley. Okay, this is true. Um, as you went into the loo, there was a sign that said "Mind your head." Nice. And uh, underneath, someone had written, "Don't get your Hampton Court." <laughs> yeah, it's not okay. there anymore. But uh, there is not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> he just, he just stared at him, Garrett, like, why is this man staring at me? Why is he staring at us kiss right now? Who are you? Oh, have you not met me husband, Paul? Husband? Oh, Jesus Christ, Gary, get out. Abort mission. Abort mission right now, Gary. Paul, is it all right if Gareth comes back with us? Fine. Husband? No way, I don't know. Not interested. No. I'm not having another fella involved. No, another girl, maybe. Not another bloke. No. I wouldn't even want him watching. Vince cold with it. He cold with it. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, how are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. What you got a problem with, Ricky? No, no, sleep with everyone in the office. He's not even a permanent member of staff. Why don't you prefer that he with Gareth? Wouldn't happen. Oh, why? Because he didn't go to university? No, because he's a little weasel faced arse. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. He hasn't missed one day in his office from ill health. And don't call my second in command an arse faced weasel. A weasel faced arse? Same thing. Well, no, it's not. Would you rather have a face like an arse or a face like a weasel? <laughs> Probably. Anyway, Mathis, don't tell me who I can't see. I hope you're not going to sleep with a woman, David, because obviously you find sex so disgusting. Good chance of me a fine thing. I could pull in a brothel. I could, and I have. And yes, I've built a great with me at my one. Yeah, I don't want to come home with you. She doesn't want to come home with me. I don't. <laughs> Gareth, you're not going to be able to 
I want you to come home with me. That's a waste of an hour. So the only reason you've been talking to me is because you want to shag me? Yeah, and from yeah. behind, because your bread stinks of onions and I didn't tell you that, did I? <laughs> Because your breast smells of, smells of anus, and I didn't want to tell you that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and from behind, because your breast sticks of onions, and I didn't tell you that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what on the bum? No, I'm done. No, can't be arsed. <laughs> oh, good. It's the poet Slough by Sir John Betjeman, probably never been here in his life. Come friendly bombs and fall on slough. It isn't fit for humans now. Right, I don't think you solve town planning problems by dropping bombs all over the place, so he's embarrassed himself there. Next. Um, in labour-saving homes with care, their wives resout peroxide hair and dry in synthetic air and paint their nails. They want to look nice. What, what's he got? Do he go. like girls? Um, and talk of sports and makes of cars in various bogus Tudor bars and daren't look up and see the stars but belch instead. What's he on about? What's he never burped? Where are we going? Could you just... Where what, are we going? What do you mean? I'm going home, mate. No, one more drink. Let me no, pop. I'm going home. Come on. No, Gary! No, 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 Gary. <coughs> He going home with him. He decided to go home with him, Gary. Guys, shut up. Oh, lies. Oh, lies. Oh, lies. This is my favourite. Come friendly bombs and fall on slough to get it ready for the plough. The cabbages are coming now. The earth exhales. He's the only cabbage round here. Oh, that's how we got it. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Dino. Out.